Now I got these and instantly I was like, what the hell? These are my Mac pry bars. So what makes this one so much better? Well, sometimes you get excited. <laughs> dolphin wrenches. Why do they call these a dolphin wrenches? Well, let's show you. What up, guys? CP the Dual Addict. Woo! Today's video, we're going to talk about Michael Pro. And we're going to see if you can tell the difference between Mac Tools and Michael Pro. <laughs> Woo! Let's get into the video. We got a lot to talk about. A lot of this is massive. As you can see, I have a massive Michael Pro stack of stuff here that we're going to look at. Michael Pro Tools, man. Uh, they're just a, they're an old tool company with a new face. Uh, people, once again, always talk about the name, but uh, they're they've they're making tools that a lot of other companies are making too. A couple tools we're going to compare today. So let's see. We'll leave that one. This one's kind of unique, and this one's kind of unique. Let's get the uh, let's get the normal stuff out of the way uh, and talk about that. This is an MP. We'll put a link for everything in the description. MP005030. And uh, let me get this nice sleeve off. This is a uh, wheel nut socket set. Uh, I thought these were really neat, honestly, clear. I don't have a set of these, so I'll be honest with you. These also come off if you need them to. And you can have them just uh, the smaller socks. I know it's a lot of guys do that in tire shops. Sometimes I've had to do that too. But they have the clear seat, clear protective sleeve, sleeve, so you don't mess up the sockets. Um, we have a 15 and a and I don't the prices will be in the description. Also, I don't know the prices. 19, 17, 19. Uh, I'm sure they're reasonable. 21 and 22 wheel nut socket set. Don't forget your courtesy 15% off. Right there, you can take a screenshot. Hold on, let me get in. Bam! Take a screenshot of that barcode. Use it up, fellas. Drink it up. Um, <clears throat> nice case. Taiwan made. Can't beat it for the price. I'm sure it's not bad. Everything from Michael Pro, everything if I've seen from Michael Pro is always made in Taiwan. So, uh, once again, guys, I want to state this <clears throat> because I get this in the comments. It doesn't matter what I do. I understand. I, I, I have comment generators. That's what these... That's what these videos do. They're comment generators. People com will complain, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Quite frankly, I, I've come to terms with that. But <clears throat> I have to appease to three different types of people. Okay, and, and just like everything in the world, you can't make everybody happy. So I've come to terms with that. You know, there's, there's, you're good. Uh, the haters, I love the haters. They're, they're, all they do is generate more uh, content for me uh, by, you know, they say something that makes me, make another video and that's fine uh, and once again don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me it just lets me know that i'm doing a good job i know a lot of you guys did the mac tool videos <clears throat> and you uh gave me a lot of thumbs up i appreciate those not I, I don't think the algorithm i don't think they play anything in the algorithm and i know a ton of people ask for them and i know it gets old and listen to it uh you know a little bit of a rant here so just listen to me here <laughs> sticker wants to just bang in there we'll get to the rest of this so, uh, you know, I, I appreciate those thumbs up. And second of all, uh, channel sponsored stuff as far as like these videos. Guys, don't get caught up in some of these. I, I recently caught I caught on to, and, and I'm not bagging on anybody, and I'm not going to call anybody out specifically, but I saw this video, a couple of these videos that were doing free ad or do, po posting ads for buying little pieces of land in Ireland or something. It was a scam. And, and I'm so disappointed in other YouTubers, especially big YouTubers, that took money to do those videos and they're scamming their own subscribers and they got scam paid with scam money to do that stuff. And you'll never see that on my channel. So uh, just keep that in mind. When I, when I do this stuff, there's a lot more to it and how I feel about doing this stuff. than you'll, you understand. And if you knew me personally, you'd understand that some of these tools get going, they get, they get sent to people who need these tools. They get, I've, and I don't, I don't feel like it's right to send out stuff and do videos of it. I, this is the way I was raised. Okay, I, I, I don't think, like you watch these videos where people 
Mr. Beast gives away and all this stuff. That that all generates video views. And people are like, oh, it's all... I'm not really that type of person. I don't know how to do it, so let me know in the comment box if you want me to uh, do a video. I, I just feels like it'll be awkward to me because doing it on camera doesn't feel natural. I like to do random acts of kindness. So, you know, I like to send stuff out to people and just randomly say, hey, look, I got, you know, some of this stuff I don't need anymore. Here you go. You know, uh, use it and enjoy it. So uh, stuff that I don't need goes out to those people, whether, uh, despite what, what people may think. But uh, anyways, back to the video. Uh, next thing, I appreciate you guys listening to me through that rant. Just something I've been wanting to get off my chest for a minute. Uh, like something like this right here, I'm just saying. Uh, Michael Pro sent this to me. Uh, I, I have no qualms with, you know, like I said, they're, they're a really good company and I like dealing with them. But this will go to, there's a guy that needs a torque wrench that I know in a tire shop here locally. And uh, this is a nice torque wrench. And these are pretty standard torque wrenches. Uh, and this is up to 250 foot pounds. Hold on, hold on, let me get it out of the satchel. Uh, this is a pretty standard torque wrench and these, these hold up. Uh, I wish I knew what the price was because I didn't look it up, and I apologize. But this goes up to 250 foot-pounds. Uh, it's a 72 tooth, I believe. Really, really actually nice action on it. Uh, you know, just standard with a lock down here at the end. You know, it's got the standard lock and a twist grip and goes up in your uh, uh, five-pound increments or two-pound, two-and-a-half-pound two no, five increments, five-pound increments. Anyways, nonetheless, it's a, it's a decent torque wrench. I have four torque wrenches, so I don't need a torque wrench. So this will be going to somebody that needs a torque wrench. Uh, you know, and I don't know that I feel like sharing that. Like, if I give it to somebody, I don't... Hey, here's a torque wrench. Can I take a video of you giving it to them? I mean, how awkward is that? It's just my feelings on it. I mean, you guys let me know in the, in the comment box what do you think about it. Uh, and shipping stuff out is definitely uh, not my forte. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a big fan of shipping stuff out. It's expensive, it's time consuming. Uh, it's usually not something my thing. And there's plenty of technicians around me locally that can use this stuff. Uh, and I, have, I know plenty of guys that can use stuff. And I always try to help, I try to help people get into the industry. So stuff like that, really cool deal. Anyways, uh, let me get this out of the way. Let's talk about the next thing here. So innovative tools, uh, Innovative tools from Michael, Michael Pro. Not, this is not really necessarily innovative, but it's... I don't know that anybody has a breaker bar set uh, from Michael Pro. I think... I want to say I did see the price on these. Really nice breaker bar set. This is a 3 8 complete breaker bar set. Uh, let, me get a, let me get the measuring device out here. Hold on. All right. Measuring device engaged. So we have a 12-inch, an 18-inch, and a six inch. Is this a quarter inch? Yeah. So we've got a six inch quarter inch breaker bar. I actually don't own a quarter inch breaker bar, believe it or not. Uh, I think I own one three eighths. Is this a half inch? This is. This is so this is a half half three eighths. I thought did I say this was a three eighths? I lied. So we got a half three eighths and quarter inch breaker bar. Twelve inch, eighteen inch, and a six inch. Nice little breaker bar set from Michael Pro. Uh decent quality. Uh, nice breaker bar. like uh, you know you can save your you give yourself a nice breaker bar I like the knurling on this handle uh, or how this is set up so it's not just a smooth handle I, I really don't like the chrome smooth handles guys that's they seem to be I, I like some something some sort of elevation change on my handle uh, just to ensure better gripping I mean this actually gives you a good placement right in here but this also gives you something to bite your hand onto. Uh, you know, this is just, it's a well thought up, well designed tool, in my opinion. There's a detent ball in the head here that uh, locks it in on the top for whatever reason. Uh, nothing on the sides. I guess you could drill one if you really needed, but honestly, you always usually want a little flex. There's plenty of retention there and it's kind of got a little spring back anyway, so it holds in there as you can see, but not bad. Michael, Pro, like I said, Michael Pro is a good middle of the road tool or something to help guys that want to save a little money. They can't afford buying Snap on, and I try to share and show stuff for every level of people on my channel. Uh, some giving people options. I realize that price is always a concern for people. You know, some people. I love Snap on. I love buying high quality tools, and I love you know getting you know getting into that stuff. 
Uh, there's times where I just don't want to buy a high quality. Maybe I don't need it as much. And breaker bars might be something that uh, come to that standard. You know, why buy a, a Snap-on breaker bar when you can buy uh, this if you're not using it that often, you know, depending on your level of use of tools. So uh, this is, I think Michael Boat Pro it fits in the line with Capri. I've been really impressed. Uh, it's just options out there, guys. Giving people options, showing them stuff. Helping them out, you know. That's what that's what we're all about here. It's tools. We are tool addicts. That's what it all boils down to. We are tool addicts. All right. So uh, next thing we got here, let's uh, let's talk about the pry bars because you guys are probably curious. If you've been you've probably been in the comment box here waiting for about twenty minutes to get to this section or this uh, this little one here. Michael Pro pry bars. Now I got these and instantly. I was like, what the hell? These are my Mac pry bars. And then upon further inspection, which let me get the two out here that I got. How do I get that one out? How do you get that fella out here? Uh, let me let me get in here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. So these are the two shorties, which they're almost dead and even similar. Now you can see I was using this little guy. I use this little guy all the time. They're almost similar, except for this one has flat sides on it. Uh, I, I apologize. This one is really dirty. I was using it on some on a seal to take out. Uh, but this one is rounded, in it, but the handle design is very, very similar. Now, Mac doesn't make these anymore, keep in mind. So it could be the reason why these are coming out. But I noticed these on Amazon and some other pry bars, too. There is no striking cap. On the mat, on the uh, Michael Pros, which is definitely a bummer, um, you know, kind of a kind of a that's kind of an off-putting deal there. But maybe that's something they can add in later. Uh, heavy wise, they feel obviously the striking cap makes a big difference. Obviously, the shank doesn't go all the way through on here. So uh, I'll put a link for the description of these in here. But uh, then I noticed once you go up to the bigger ones uh, versus my Mac pry bars, they definitely changed quite a bit. In fact, to the tune of being shorter. So the handle lengths weren't as long, but once again, you'll notice this has that flat side to keep it from rolling away. I have loved these pry bars. These are actually, to be honest with you, these are my favorite pry bars. I think the handle difference. Oh, this one's flat. Oh, so the Michael Pros are flat sided on here. Instead of down here, they're all flat. Si oh, oh, fella. Okay, so they don't, it's, these ones are too, though. The max are all the way flat down here. I just, I, it, the subtle differences that you don't catch on to. So, uh, and let me see if I can show you that. If you look down the handle here, let me get this in here. If you look down the handle, see how it's flat there all the way down. And then if you look on the Michael Pro, it, this, this part of the handle is all the way around. But then if you look here, uh, it's flat. It's, it's octagon shape so very interesting very interesting but still no strike through cap on those uh you know I, I probably actually i probably paid for these these mac ones when i bought these in the set same exact set i bought for mac same exact set uh mine came in the same exact case i actually fit the mac in this case kid you not i can't even make this up uh i fit one of them i should say well i'll just show you fit this one right here in the case that's the only one I fit. All the rest of them don't fit that well because the handle link's different. But uh, nonetheless, uh, these pry bars, I will. I do have a gentleman that's going to be getting these too. Who will be receiving these pry bars uh, as a gift from the CP the Tool Addict channel. Well, how do you go back in there? Is that how, that's it? So uh, I have a gentleman that I've already told him that I was going to give these pry bars to him too. Because he needed a set of pry bars. But the Mac set was the exact same. I don't remember what I paid for the Mac. I bought them 20 years ago, guys. But the handles, I love these handles. Is what I'm getting at. Is what I'm trying to say to you. I love these handles. They're fantastic. I, they've stay, And the, you can see I've had these for 20 years. Beat them up. They worked really good. The shanks. Were the shanks about the same? Were the steel shanks about the same? Yeah, I really don't see any much difference. Might be a little bit narrower, just a whisker, just a tiny bit difference on the shanks. I don't know. You guys tell me. 
Definitely looks like different steel, but this one's worn a little bit too. So I think they're a decent set of pry bars nonetheless. Uh, I, I really wish I knew the price to tell you, but you know what? Honestly, I'm kind of tired of talking about price on, on the internet. Gets people all fired up when you talk about price right away. You know, look it up and then come back if you want to complain in the comment box. That's all I can say. I don't know. You know, do what you got to do. So, yeah, nice set of pry bars. Nonetheless, it is a nice set of pry bars. All right, moving on. All right, this one was an interesting one, and I will tell you. I'm going to grab another tool here real quick while you guys eyeball that one. I'm going to grab you another one that I got, which I absolutely can't stand. It is, it is a pile of garbage. And I'm going to show you some reasons why this one sucks and this one's better. So I received this tool from Olsa and it was the first and last tool that I ever got from him because I said, you know what, I'm, I'm not, I'm not into your, uh, I'm not into this. So I use this like two times. Okay. And this is the old Olsa extended power bar. Let me tell you one thing right off the bat, why this thing sucks. Because the minute you put it on something and you turn it, look. See this? It's supposed to lock, and it doesn't sometimes. It skips over, and then only not only that, when you turn it, when you're going to turn something, and you just crank the, the handle the wrong way, boom, it slides on you. Pile, pile of garbage. Absolute pile of garbage from Olsa Tools. They, they dropped the ball on this one huge when they made this. This thing's a piece of garbage. I don't even know if they still send it, sell it, but so what makes this one so much better? Well, sometimes you get excited. <laughs> And they put a detent on this. And it's a hexagonal piece, so it's a lot st sturdier stock. But the extendable pry bar that actually locks in. So I'm really interested into spending some time with this. There's no chance of this one slipping. Good knurling on the end uh, on this thing right here. Uh, and it falls back into place quick. Quick retractable. Quick out, quick in. I like it. Uh, this is and this was the Michael Pro MP007002. So once again, another innovative tool from Michael Pro. I love this. That that just makes me that just makes me happy. I mean, I'm just saying. That just, does that not make you happy? I I could I sat there and did that for a while. I don't know. Some of you boys wish you could do that on command. I mean, let's let's just let's just face it. So. Yeah, we'll see how it holds up. One thing that could happen is it gets gummed up in here. Uh, if you get stuff in the pockets of this, that would be something to be cautious about. But nonetheless, saving space in your toolbox. I know a lot of you guys might have a 30 inch, uh, and this extends out. Let me get a measurement. Let me get the measuring device out here. Uh, This is a 24 inch breaker bar fully extended and then you push it back in and it turns into so this extends from 24 to from 15 to 24 inches not bad saves yourself a ton of space in the toolbox all right the well, last and not least tool let's look at this all right we have the michael pro 001015 and these are absolutely some of my favorite to use I have I don't I haven't been able to use a lot I have the standard set of these but they finally released the metric now these have been out some time before from another company so these are kind of a re rebounce off or re remake out what do we got going on here they're sealed so tight how does a feller get them out of here we got to get out the old cutter machine let's whip it out whip it out fellas Cow, the little chub, the tough light. This is my favorite knife. I, this has been one of the best knives I've, I've ever had for a pocket knife. Not gonna lie to you, cold steel, tough light. I don't remember what it was, 20, 30 bucks. But it, I can put an edge on it fast. Uh, I love it. It stays pretty sharp, but these are the Michael Pro Dolphin wrenches. Let me see if I can get, cut these. We don't need dirt on it. Come on, fella. I know, I just said it was sharp. He put they put some serious uh zip ties on these things. I'm not gonna lie to you. These are not oh let's put it on the back side work. Alright, everything's falling over. Everything's falling over. Now I just lost all the wrenches. 
I did get it cut though. I love I love just doing this like really blooper really like just makes it so much more fun. Dolphin wrenches. Why do they call these a dolphin wrenches? Well, let's show you. Look at that. So you have a wrench that you can grab like this and put torque on. And they do have a nice offset. I wouldn't, these are, I, I don't know, they call a lot of these wrenches zero degree offsets because they're not bent, um, but they stick out. Oh, excuse me. They stick out. That's what, uh, and also the thing I like about these wrenches is if you look down the thin on here, they have a little thinner tip sometimes, which I kind of like to get into some different places. Uh, small, slight, what do we got going on there? Small, slight imper imperfection in there. Not sure. Uh, the standards I, I used lightly, I will say, but I didn't have really a whole lot of standard stuff. So I'm looking forward to using these uh, metric ones a little more. The set is not, it does have some skips in it. Not sure why they skip 18. I'm, I'm still not under the under the DOI. And I know a couple guys are like, oh, 18, I'm out. Whatever, uh, that's your thing. But it doesn't have a 15 in here neither. What the hell? Why doesn't this have a 15? Or 16? Or an 18? So this is 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No 15, no 16, 17, no 18. Interesting. Uh, I, I know that's going to be a, lot, a deal breaker for some guys not having a 15. That That's more important to me than anything there. So uh, please don't. I, I understand. If you don't want to buy it because there's no – that's fine. Just, you know, I you don't need to tell me. This is in an airport. Don't, don't, don't announce your departure, okay? Uh, you know, that's kind of how it is. Like, I don't know why people are not respectful like that, but whatever. If it's comment generator. That's what this is. There's a comment generator. That's what I'm talking about. The minute I, because it's, oh, I don't want a 15 in here. Well, that's fine. Whatever. You know, if you want to, if you want to complain about it, hey, let her rip, potato chip. I guess Michael Pro will see that too, so maybe we should. So this video has gotten extremely long, but uh, the Dolphin Wrenches, one of the, once again, I do like the standard set. The standard was more complete but you can reef down on this thing and it's against your palm. I like this idea of this. I do like these these uh, heads on these that are thinner because they come in handy sometimes to get into some uh, foreign places, but nice set of wrenches. These are only like 50 or 60 bucks if I remember right, but uh, definitely uh, a unique, and, and not only that, they just give you a different option to get into some place. So you can, if you want to sneak into somewhere uh, and get, get a deal out, there's zero degree. So they're straight on. Uh, it's just a different tool for a different job is the way I look at it. You know, I'm always out there looking for something that's going to help me, you know, get to that, get an angle on something that maybe I don't have. And that's why I like these wrenches because these could come in handy for some some deals, some, some gigs. So anyways, guys, that's the video. I went extremely long on this one. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty. And your money clean. Thanks for watching.